عمري اللي راحت أحلى موهام إن كان ما ضمت يمينك إيميني يا وجدي هبت دعاذي على نسام من عضة شفاتي وفركات يديني يا عمري اللي راحت أحلى ما هوام إن كان ما ضمت يمينك إيميني يا وجدي انهب أي أوي أي أوي What are you doing man? لا بس كبر كبر Alright anyway guys I hope you all did well So today I'm gonna kind of do like an intense study session the reason why i want to do this is because you guys probably know that for biomedical sciences i have five modules to do uh, this semester so these five modules vary from human anatomy to molecular genetics to cells microbiology i believe in a couple of days i have an uh, like an mcq exam so a multiple choice question and it's only worth 25 percent of my module of one of my modules which is uh, molecular genetics but this is like the first time i'm ever doing like an actual exam uh, for my university so I thought I'm gonna do like a little you know revision session and hopefully vlog the entire day so yeah guys I'm gonna play the footage from this morning until now and hopefully you guys are gonna enjoy the video I start my first revision session early in the morning from 7 a.m. till 8 a.m. just for an hour to freshen my mind up get used to the environment and quickly plan out what exactly I want to get out of this revision session I have six weeks worth of lectures on molecular genetics to go over I managed to go over the first few lectures from DNA to RNA, how they're made and the different types of ribonucleic acids that we can find in our cells. After this, I get ready for breakfast and I don't really mind how controversial this might seem but I always pour my milk before putting in the cereal. I also put sugar in my milk which might sound weird to some of you guys. And after that, I put my cereal in and head to my desk where I watch some YouTube videos while eating my breakfast. My second session begins from 9am till 11am. These two hour sessions are normally the longest I go without a break. In this session I go over some of the notes from my lectures, recapping more on the topic of genome and how it varies between organisms as well as the different ways that DNA can be mutated and the various molecular machines in our bodies which try to fix and repair these mutations. These mutations vary from excision repair, direct repair, non-homologous end joining all the way till homologous recombination after this i also go over some of the mcqs multiple choice questions that i had on these lectures to test my knowledge to see how much of it i remember and how much i understand after this i take an hour break using my phone and just procrastinating and then it is time for a final session before lunch this one hour i just spent some time recapping some of the notes from this very morning revision session while also going over some of the slides from the lectures as well as the book information and after this it is time for lunch Okay, so the first revision session for the morning is done. Uh, Alhamdulillah, it was good, not bad, uh, roughly four hours long. Right now, I'm just going to take an actual break, have some lunch, and then I'm going to go straight to the campus uh, and then to the library that's in the campus. And then what I'm going to do is get a few footages for you guys. And also, I'm going to chill with my bro. Hopefully, I can get a little bit of revision done. Hopefully, do some sort of revision at least that's like active recalling something that's a little bit fun and i can also like chill and relax without having to stress too much and then after that i should be coming back home to get my second uh revision session towards the evening so yeah um i'll just catch you guys in a few less than an hour hopefully i'll catch you guys in a bit peace oops Piece. After lunch, I head to one of my uni campuses and also to the library on campus just to get a few thumbnails as well as a few b-roll footages for my future videos as well as this video. And here is a quick edit of how the library looks. <laughs> بدعاذي على نسام من 
While in the library, I also discussed some future video ideas with my medical friend Fringista. In the prayer room of the BOTS campus, so it's much smaller than the prayer room on the actual QM campus, but it's not that bad. Let me just show you some of the stuff that we got right here. Um, just got some Quran, some uh, old right here, just some stuff here. Looking not too bad. Here we got some storage stuff. Um, and that's about it really and I then I legit think that's not called Oud, that's called Atta isn't it? Yeah but, but the same names basically Is it? No, Oud yeah. is the one you set on fire Is it? Yeah No but I feel like nowadays it's like people use it for both ways basically I think the meaning has been basically fire, yeah? No 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 I'm but joking, like it's just been Have you seen like pages on Instagram that basically said like They call it like Oud and they basically sell like, right. Yeah We've got the occipital bone right there Okay. And then we have the left and right parietal bones. Okay. And then uh, parietal. What? Parietal. Yeah, okay. Same. I think in your video you said parietal. Yeah, yeah. I like said so wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and okay. then obviously, what about the sutures? So we've got the uh, that's the coronal the suture, lambdoid suture. Uh, coronal. Coronal. I'm joking. Yeah. And go okay, let, let's go a little bit more down here. I want to test you. Let's see how okay, much you know, bro. Tell me what this one is. Here. Which one? Yeah. This one, that's like, that's the cheekbone, isn't it? Yeah, what's that's the one? maxilla or something, maxilla, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the maxilla. And then we have, here we've got the temporal bone that is attached to the zygomatic bone to make the zygomatic arch. <laughs> من عضة شفاتي وفركات ذيني. Obviously, here we have manubrium, cephalic uh, process, body, yes. uh, costal cartilages, yes. uh, ribs right here, yes, yeah. which one to seven are like real. This one is the femur right here, uh, femur, yeah, and obviously that's the. Here you can see, I think it's a ball socket joint. Oops, can you see me? All right. So here we have the tibialis anterior, and when it comes to the muscles, I think we have gastrocnemius, which is like the calf. Okay, lads. So right now I'm joined here with the cringista right there, that and we're there. okay. So we're actually here on the Bots campus, and we're just chilling, um, taking a break of studying. Uh, went to the library, so the library shots are done. Got a few thumbnails, got everything that we need to do for today at least. So yeah, we're just gonna chill. Hopefully you guys are gonna see some time lapse, maybe just us having like normal conversations. Um, if you haven't checked out the Q&A playlist that me and Cringista have on this channel, check them out. Links will be down there in the description below. It's coming close to the Maghrib prayer, so we're just gonna chill for some more time and then hopefully pray the Maghrib prayer. And after that, I'm gonna have to go home and I have a tutoring session today. Hopefully smash some more work. And after that, I should be good to go for the rest of the day, guys. Once I come back from outside, I tutor my A-level biology student for an hour. I currently tutor A-level and GCC students seven days a week, but I still might have just a few slots left. So if you guys are interested, then DM me on my Instagram, but there is no guarantee for spaces. Sorry. You have your IP's Rachicool, which is that blue marking. Are you on page 17? So the red bit is the stage micrometer. And then the blue bit that you can see is actually the eyepiece graticle. After my tutoring session finishes, I try to smash in another one hour session on molecular genetics to finally call it off for today. In this session, I go over some of the steps in transcription and translation in both prokaryotes and eukaryotes and I identify the key differences between them. Alright, so I'm done with everything that I need to do for today and I'm a little bit tired. I'm just gonna go get myself some dinner and I'll catch you guys straight after that. Okay, so um, entire day done. Uh, just gonna be having some dinner right now. Not the healthiest dinner to be honest, but at least the day wasn't too bad, you know. Uh, definitely could have been way more productive, but towards the end, after the tutoring session, getting that extra amount of revision done was quite hard, not gonna lie. But it was a good day, good amount of video done, good amount of footage taken, everything that I needed to do at least was good enough, inshallah. And yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, 
I'll see you in my next video, just like always. And take care and peace out, guys.